Today I wanted to show you the trim selector and grabber tool in the edit window in Pro Tools. Uh, so first we have the trim tool, which is this one. So click on there. Uh, that will give you this half square cursor, uh, which you can use. You go down to your region in the edit window and go to the top of the region and click and hold. And you can trim the top. You can drag it out or pull it in. Go to the tail of the region. You can do the same thing. Click and hold, drag it out or pull it in. So you can cut out dead air or um, whatever you want to get rid of. Um, so the next tool is the selector tool, which will give you this cursor. So you can go down to your region and click and uh, drag over. And that will let you select uh, chunks of your region. Uh, so you could select uh, this chunk. And then I would press Command E for cut. And then you can cut up your region like that. Uh, the other shortcut is um, B. B for blade. That's if this AZ button is highlighted. So B. But anyways, um, so that's the selector tool. Uh, next over is the grabber tool. So that will let you go down to your region and click and select whole regions at a time. And then you can click, hold it and drag it, move it, put it in time. Um, do whatever you will. So in theory, you could go trim a tool, uh, say go select a tool, cut up that chunk, go uh, cut up that chunk, press command E to cut that, go to trim a tool, trim that down, go grab a tool, move that somewhere in time. I'll undo all that. So yeah, that's kind of handy. Uh, and then above those tools is a little section that you can click. So you click up here and it'll select all three tools and that'll let you use all tools at once. Um, so you go down to your region and if your cursor is above the halfway line um, in the region, it will have the selector tool. So you can select. If it's below the halfway line, it will change to the grabber tool. So that's that. Um, go to the top or the tail of your region. It will change it to the trimmer tool and the tail. And the other cool thing is you go um, to the top of your region and go to the top left-hand corner. It'll have a fade tool. So you can use that and over to the tail, the same thing, the top right hand corner fade. So in theory, you could uh, come down to this region and above the line, select that region, press command E, uh, go below the line, use a grabber tool, move it, whatever. Uh, Use the trimmer tool at the top of um, top of that section. Trim it down. And go up to the top left-hand corner. Use a fader tool. Top right-hand corner. The other fader tool. And you can see how that could uh, save you a lot of time editing. You just select, cut, move, trim fade and whatever you desire, whatever you need to do. But anyway, yeah, I hope that helps.